Hi everyone and welcome back. In this video we will try to understand what is the context APIs. We have already talked about this in the functional component while using use context APIs. Okay, we already got some picture clear. Now we will just take a look on one example for a quick recap because here we are now talking about managing the state, how we can pass the state, what, what are the possible ways we can manage the component level state without using Redux and all the other options we are exploring, okay? So React Context versus Redux, I mean, both are kind of same thing. Objective is they are trying to achieve is common, but Context APIs is good at component level, but application level, you have to use Redux only, okay? So what this diagram is showing is currently, this is called props drilling. If I need something at a child component, you will be just cascading this data to the child to the grandchild and then I'm getting this data but with the context APIs you can manage the data at the parent level in the context and at the child I can receive it directly what you just need to do is create a provider at the parent component and wrap your child component inside a provider so that your child component can access that provider can can get all data so any child component without being dependent on the parent component can receive that information that is called context APIs okay this exists in class based component and to use the same concept in the functional component we are using use context hook okay now coming back to the code and try to understand it how we create a context so first of all using react.create context we can create a context okay this context will exist at the parent component now what is the problem statement we are trying to solve is here i have like some data at the parent component which is youtube list item youtube list data if this component needs that data then what you will do you will pass this is a props then it will further pass to the child then it will further pass to the grandchild and it is like cascade effect props drilling is happening we don't want it if any of the child component wants that data, I want it directly. So I will be using context. So I created a context here. This I created this context and and then I'm wrapping all my child component inside this context. So I created this parent component, my provider. And you can see I created a provider. Okay, inside that I have some set of children's. So this can be one of my parent component. Okay, and how I'm using it. I'm using it here so I created a provider it can be any component which is just returning provider and then you can have n number of child component here family one okay or any other child component okay those child components can directly access the data which this provider is having. So what this provider is having? This provider is having these set of values. It is having the state, current state of the root component and some method which will help you to update the state. So even this child component want to trigger some action to the topmost component, you can directly do that because from the parent component in the context, we can put some kind of a data and kind of methods. So you can call those methods from any child component and can update the state. You don't need to call the parent, then parent, then parent. Okay. So here we have a state and we have one method grow a year older inside the parent component. So this is like a provider and this is my topmost component app component. And these are my some child component which I'm rendering. So I will wrap all the child component inside this provider, my provider. What my provider is doing is my provider is helping my child component to receive the data because my provider is exposing this context, context.provider, exposing the state and this method. Okay, this is how we create a wrapper, right? It's just like a higher order component. Uh, here we created this my provider, my provider will render all these component in the uh, as a children so it is you can see this my provider is rendering all the children's so it is same as writing it something like this okay now this my provider is exposing this data how we are accessing it so i have this family component written somewhere yes 
this family component again have a person component so this can be chain of children component family can have a person person can have a member member can have a child component finally i have this component finally and i wanted to access some the same data so i can just write a consumer of that context and i can access it like this context context.state.a is context.state.name right or what you can do is if you wanted to access it directly then you can just set context type equal to the context we have created and you can access the context directly using this dot context dot age this dot context dot state dot age this dot context dot state dot name instead of wrapping it in the jsx like in jsx it is fine but if in some particular method component did mount i want to receive that information and how do i do that here i can access this this dot context dot state dot name this is how will i access it because i put the context type for this component as a my context so i can access that that, that information so this is the one way right i set something on my topmost component here app component you can say because my provider is in the app component and family has again some child component then child component there i am accessing this data so this is called provider consumer concept here i created a provider and this value will be shared among all the child components i have so whatever you want you can put all the other methods like here i might be calling one method here you can see context dot grow a year older right so you are actually doing you are actually calling this method at the topmost component you don't need to call the parent component parent will again call the grandparent and all you are calling it directly here and this is updating age to plus one and the once that it is updated same state will be available for you to consume and this state this state age value will get updated okay plain and simple but this is very useful in your application you can create many providers many consumers so there is a provider consumer combination so if you have created a provider then only these set of children can access that provider by writing consumer or by setting the context type either by doing this or either by setting the context type okay so i hope this video is helpful you can create your uh, own example i will attach this sandbox example to play around with the context types if we are writing the functional component then you can access the context by just writing okay like if i'm writing a functional component const person okay so so here i can just simply write const state equal to use context and i can just pass the in pass the context name is my context so now in the state you got all the values you can say it is app state okay in the app state you are getting both the things in app state you are getting this object okay so you can access app state dot state app state dot grow a year older this you are getting from that right this is what we do in the functional component using use context hook okay in class based component either you set the context like this or you can write the consumer in the your gsx okay i hope this is helpful thanks everyone in the like next video we can talk about lazy loading in the react uh, router components